Oh, it's time for night night. Night night, Levi. Say bye bye. Say bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. See you soon. See you soon. I love you. Hey guys. So I am getting started on a really quick dinner. I'm actually jumping in and showing you already in progress. We've had a crazy couple of days. I had a really long work day yesterday. Dan worked a bit on Saturday. We had a really busy, fun-filled weekend. So what I'm doing today is actually a buffalo, like a creamy buffalo chicken thigh recipe. I was going to do the Keto Connect jalapeno popper chicken thigh recipe, but my jalapenos that I had in the fridge have seen better days. So I'm throwing those out and I'm going to improvise. Let me show you what is already in process and show you what you're going to need. I have got a whole pack of chicken thighs in here with a bunch of butter and some salt and pepper. And I am basically going to brown those on both sides. And then I'm going to put them in a casserole dish. I've got a burner on medium. I'm going to make like a cheesy buffalo sauce. So I'm going to melt down some cream cheese. I'm going to add in some chicken wing sauce. And I'm basically just going to see what the consistency is like. I may need to add a little bit of shredded cheese, but I'm gonna start here. Super easy. Okay, so Dan went ahead and melted this cream cheese down on low, so it's a nice and soft texture. I'm gonna go in and add a half a cup of our buffalo wing sauce. He's gonna whisk that together and see how the texture is. You're basically looking for it to be like a creamy buffalo sauce texture. So we're gonna whisk that together. You may need to add a little bit more hot sauce. We're just gonna kind of taste and check the texture as we go. The chicken thighs have been cooking for about eight minutes on one side. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip them and I'm gonna get the other side browning. These are going to finish off in the oven with the buffalo sauce on it, so they don't need to be cooked all the way through. We're basically just cooking each side until it has a really nice golden color. Okay, so once I flipped these, I went ahead and I added a little bit of diced red onion. It's just going to give it a little bit of extra flavor. Once the other side is brown, I'm going to put them into an aluminum pan and they're going to bake. Wait till you see the sauce. It looks so delicious. Okay, so here is the beautiful creamy sauce. Again, this is just a block of cream cheese and about a half a cup of uh, buffalo wing sauce. And then right before it goes in with the chicken, I'm going to add just a little squirt of ranch. I'd say it's about two and a half tablespoons. Then we're going to mix that up and get it in the pan with the chicken thighs and it's gonna bake in the oven for about 20 to 25 minutes. Good. So I'm gonna add a dollop of the sauce to the bottom of the pan and then just kind of spread it out a little bit. We're gonna throw the majority of the sauce on top of the chicken. I just wanna put a little on the bottom. Dan was right, I should have used the basting brush. Now come get a load of these chicken thighs. Okay, so here they are. We are going to pile them into this tray as tight as we can get them because I don't want to use another pan. I will if I have to, but I'd rather not. Tetris. It's like chicken Tetris. Mmm, that's the best Tetris ever. Remember, the outsides are cooked but the inside is raw, so they definitely are going to need to go into the oven for at least 20 minutes, but maybe even up to 30, depending on the size of your chicken thighs. These are boneless, skinless, but they definitely had a good amount of fat on them, so as you can see, they did really brown nicely. They're gonna be so tender. So I went ahead and made sure that I got the onions and just the little bit of crispy bits out of the pan, and I'm gonna throw that in with it. It doesn't look like much, but it's definitely gonna add some flavor to the sauce while it bakes in the oven. Mm -hmm. Okay guys, now we are going to take this beautiful buffalo cheese sauce and evenly distribute it all over the chicken thighs. 
It's a little thick, but remember, it's going back in the oven, so it's gonna get nice and melty all over again. And use a spatula so you don't miss a drop because it's definitely going to take all of this sauce. And then we're gonna top it with some shredded mozzarella and it's gonna go hang out in the oven. Mmm, oven. Hey, Lincoln. Okay, guys, I went ahead and I shredded half a block of mozzarella cheese and that's gonna go right on top. Then I am going to put this uncovered into a 350 degree oven and bake it for 20 to 25 minutes. You want the internal temperature to be at least 165. not seeing you guys for a couple of days and I even had a couple of you reach out to me to make sure that we were okay and the answer is yes we are great it's just been a really crazy couple of days I know you guys get them too so I want to show you really quick the uh, casserole is just about finished those of you that know us know that I have been dying to put up my Halloween decorations so I'm gonna show you the couple of things that I put up today Hello. <laughs> And then I will finish it tomorrow. So let me show you the Halloween decorations really quick and then we'll pull this casserole out of the oven. It smells divine. Mm. You're divine. <laughs> Your face is divine. Here is one little hallway. Then this little area. This is over the couch. This is our little DVD shelf. Okay, it just came out of the oven. It looks beautiful. I'm gonna get it plated. Okay, I wanted to show you guys our plated food. This is mine. I went ahead and pulled a couple of chicken thighs. Dan's plate has three. And then we've got an awesome little garden salad. Super easy. This dinner took me like 20 minutes to throw together. So I hope you enjoyed a quick little easy use what you have on hand chicken thigh recipe. Thank you to all of you that had sent me links for chicken thigh recipes. I definitely went ahead and saved a bunch that I'm gonna try. This is just, um, this just kind of happened, but I'm excited about it because the sauce is delicious. Can't hate on buffalo. Yeah, no. Now that it's happening, I'm actually really pumped. So I will see you guys tomorrow and I hope that you have an amazing night. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Bye. Bye.